everybody and welcome back to the Handbag Angels YouTube channel or if this is your first time here, hello, thank you very much for watching. My name is Jess and I work here at Handbag Angels which is the home of luxury bespoke handbag liners for your favourite designer bags. If you are new here it would be amazing if you could subscribe to our channel and follow us on any other of our social media platforms, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, we do the whole lot, so yeah, that would be lovely. And it would also be even better if you could leave a thumbs up on this video. Today's video is all about a new Louis Vuitton bag that we have recently acquired. And this could be the next it bag or the next very popular bag by Louis Vuitton. Here we have our newest Louis Vuitton handbag and this is a relatively new model by Louis Vuitton. This is the Lock Me Ever Mini. Now this handbag comes in three sizes. It comes in the Mini which is the smallest and that's the one we have. It also comes in the BB size and the MN. This handbag currently retails for £2,290 and we have ours in the Grige, I believe that's how you pronounce it, in the Grige colourway. It also comes in black and I can't remember what the colour is off the top of my head but there's two or three colours to choose from and you will be able to see there that we have ours with the beautiful gold hardware. Now why is this handbag being considered the new it bag or the next you know big thing? Um, this is because it is being considered an alternative or a very similar handbag to the Louis Vuitton Capucines. Now if you are familiar with your Louis Vuitton handbags you will know that the Capucines are quite expensive. I believe the mini Capucines is double the price of this and they go up to around £10,000. You know, you can get them in like really exotic leathers, you know, and things like that and they are just very expensive. So we anyway, most certainly, do kind of see this as a Capucines alternative. We love the Capucines and we don't yet have one in our collection but we wanted to get this and try this out. This handbag is made from calf leather. Now the difference between this and the Capucines is that I believe the Capucines is made from a different leather called, please forgive me if I pronounce this wrong, I believe it's pronounced Torion. That's what the Capucines are made of, whereas these are calf. Now the difference that that then makes is the leather of this is quite soft. You know, when I saw this bag online, I did expect it to be more structured, and just maybe a little bit firmer, but yeah, the leather is quite soft and you can see there that it's almost a little bit squidgy. So yeah, I, just, I did expect something a little bit more rigid, especially for that price as well. I mean, I don't think it's the most affordable uh, Louis Vuitton handbag you can get, but that is just an overall first impression of the bag. I love the lock style on this handbag. You know, it's just lovely, very understated LV brand in there. You twist this little turn lock and then that's how you get into the bag. Inside is a beautiful pink suede lining and there are two internal pockets in there. Now, one thing I did find a little bit odd is that one of the internal pockets is like loose. It's not flushed to the inside of the bag. So it just kind of flap around in there. Maybe that could get a little bit annoying. But yeah, there are one, there's one internal slip pocket on the front and another one on the back. The handbag does have these like side straps that unclip like that. And then, well, to be fair, I don't really think these are very functional. Like they don't really do that much to the bag. You can pull it forwards a little bit, but I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't massively change the shape of the bag, whether they are closed or open kind of thing. Maybe they are more of a design feature. Another thing that is really good to note about this bag, it has feet. Now that is always a win-win with designer handbags because if you are placing them on the floor on any, well, any surface really, you're not having to worry about this bottom leather getting scratched, marked, damaged, anything like that. The handbag also comes with this beautiful shoulder or mm, don't think it would make a crossbody i'd say this is more of a shoulder strap this beautiful shoulder strap slash chain so on this part you've got like the leather and the chain detail intertwining you've then got the actual shoulder part that is made from the same leather and yeah i just think that that chain detail is absolutely beautiful and it's something you don't see that often but off the top of my head i do think that is another similarity between this bag and the Capucines. I do believe that the chain on the Capucines is similar kind of vibe. But yeah, I just love the chain detail. I think it's absolutely stunning. You've therefore got a top handle bag and a shoulder bag. And the shoulder strap attaches really easily to these little D-rings on the exterior of the handbag. Let me just clip that on there. I'll pop on the screen some like, you know, mod shots of me modelling the handbag 
And yeah, there is the strap attached. I do like how you do have the option to remove the strap. Um, what handbag am I thinking of? What is it? Oh, it's a, <laughs> I don't know why this came to mind. You know, they're not similar bags whatsoever, but the Chanel 19 has top handle and shoulder, but you've just got to let the shoulder strap hang if you're not using it. If you're using it as a top handle, the shoulder strap just has to hang. Whereas with this bag, so much better that you can remove it if you don't want to use it on a particular occasion. Another thing I forgot to mention about the exterior of the handbag, the calf leather is textured or, you know, kind of like grained if you want to call it. Um, if you've watched our videos before, you will know that I love it when a bag has textured leather because anything smooth, it scares me. I get scared of scratching my nails on it. So that is another positive of this handbag. Moving on, well, not moving on, moving back to the inside of the handbag. And I did quickly say that it is a suede pink interior. Now there are two issues with this. One issue it is very pale. It's going to get marked and stained very easily. And if it does, it's gonna show. And then issue number two is suede. Very hard to clean if it does get dirty or marked. But don't worry, the handbag angels are here to the rescue with our um, felt handbag liner. Now this one is in the colour Whisper Pink and it is such a lovely match to the inside of the actual handbag. I could just show you that there. So this goes inside your handbag if you're not familiar with handbag liners and it is going to fully protect the interior from any nasty marks, stains and spills. And like I said, anything that does stay in the interior, you're not going to be able to get off very easily at all. But if something goes on the handbag liner, you can simply pop it in the washing machine. We've got all the care instructions on our website and just like that, it's clean again. So I'll link this down below in the description. We do have over 300 different handbag liner sizes on our website. So the handbag liner is a lovely match to the inside of the bag um, in the color Whisper Pink. I'm now going to quickly go through what fits in the Lock Me Ever Mini. So first up, I have a phone and I've also got, sorry, everything that I've brought with me today is down here. I've also got my AirPods, which I'm gonna pop in the pocket of the actual liner. I've also got a Louis Vuitton Rosalie coin purse and my car keys. Now my car keys are quite bulky. Um, so do bear that in mind. Your car keys may be smaller and therefore, therefore will leave more room left over. I also have a Chanel lip gloss and finally a travel size Chanel perfume. Now I did think I brought a hand sanitizer with me, but I've obviously not because I can't find it. Um, there is all of those bits and bobs inside the handbag there, as well as the handbag liner. Now you will be, will be able to see that there is a little bit more room, um, like I said as well, maybe my keys are on the bulkier side, so removing those for a smaller bunch of keys would free up more space for perhaps another lipstick. Um, I also have a full size perfume here. So let's just see if that fits in. So I'm going to remove the travel size. Oh, the lid's come off and pop in the full size one. Wow, that's quite surprising. So in there is a full size Chanel Coco Mamazel perfume and it actually fits in there. And let's just check that it's, yeah, it still closes up as well. So considering it is a mini sized handbag, I think you can fit quite a generous amount in. Definitely everything, you know, like the bare essentials, purse or card holder, phone, keys, lip gloss, lipstick, AirPods, not necessarily an essential. But yeah, I do think it is quite a good size. I personally see this handbag as more of an evening bag as opposed to a day bag. So if you are perhaps considering purchasing this bag, maybe something you would want to note is how much use you'll actually get out of it. I personally would not use this during the day. It just looks too delicate and kind of on the fancy side for me to use during the day. But each to their own, you might love to use this on a shopping trip, you know, to travel with, anything like that. My overall opinion on this handbag, I love it. And like I said, the chain detail really does do it for me. Would I spend nearly two and a half thousand pounds, however, on this bag? Probably not. <laughs> Controversial, maybe, I know. But I do think it is quite pricey for what it is. But then again, Louis Vuitton, their prices at the minute are just extortionate I, I would say they are increasing their prices all the time and not just Louis Vuitton luxury brands in general so is this the new norm most likely yes to me this would make a really nice like special birthday handbag if you know like your 21st 30th 40th if you are looking for a handbag to maybe buy yourself or you know put on your little birthday wish list 
This is definitely a contender. I do think it, to me, it would be classed as quite a special bag. And like I said at the start of this video, it's just a cheaper alternative to the Capucines. So if you desperately want a Capucines, but you don't want to splash that amount of money, definitely a contender. That does conclude today's video. Thank you very much for watching as always. Um, like I said at the beginning, it would be lovely if you could leave a thumbs up, subscribe, do what you've got to do, and hopefully I will see you in the next video. Thank you.